Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. And we will now be taking our cast and using the next size of a drill, the 2.8 millimeter drill and the drill press to drill our next hole for the next surgical guide. So we've been at the drill press with our study model clamped in our surveyor table and we've taken the 2.8 millimeter drill and drilled our hole for the next size surgical guide. So we will now be placing the 2.8 millimeter drill blank in the hole we have prepared in the cast. And in exactly the manner we did before, we're going to make our next drill guide, our next surgical guide that wraps around the lingual 180 degrees of this drill blank. So I'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll review the 2.8 millimeter drill guide once it's been adapted around the drill blank. We have now adapted the triad material around our 2.8 millimeter drill blank. Again, as I mentioned previously, a nice instrument for getting good adaptation along the length of the drill blank is this fatter, larger Peter K. Thomas instrument because we can come in and do a very nice job of adapting the uncured triad along the drill blank. Additionally, if we have a little bit too much triad in that area, we can come in with the number 11 blade, that straight-sided 11 blade, and just carefully press some of the uncured triad off to the side a little bit, being careful that we maintain at least 180 degrees of encirclement on the drill blank or more. Remembering again that the height of the surgical guide wants to be not very much taller than the occlusal surfaces of the teeth. We have our good adaptation going from one to two teeth beyond my edentulous area to at least the bicuspids of the opposite side. We have good thickness so that the surgical guide is not too weak in this area. And as we remember from before, the lingual aspect of the surgical guide here is trimmed back a little bit so that it does not interfere with the flap that the surgeon will lay. So I want to get that out of the way in this area so it does not extend way down here which would prevent its seating during surgery. Previously I have been curing this triad surgical guide for four minutes in the triad oven. What it did previously was melted just about all my block out wax off and I think Curing it for three minutes will be sufficient. So with our surgical guide now cured, we take again a pair of pliers, and for this demonstration I'm using a needle holder, to first twist and remove the drill blank. And just as I did before, I want to take the slow speed handpiece and trim any sharp edges and trim the drill guide itself so that I eliminate the parts of the triad that constricted around the sides of the drill blank and open it up to the buckle so that the drill blank can easily pass in and out from the buckle but have no lateral wobbling. As we've been off camera I just took the acrylic burr and smoothed any rough edges and then I also made sure that we are able to take our drill blank and freely pass it in and out from the buckle and then if I take my drill blank and hold it top and bottom I can place my drill blank in the surgical guide and I have no lateral wiggling at all. So it's free to come in and out from the buckle, but when in place, it's held very firmly in a mesiodistal orientation. So this completes the fabrication of the 2.8 millimeter drill guide. We're not going to show on film the fabrication of the 3.8 five millimeter drill guide, but it's done in exactly the same fashion. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.